there's been a lot of uh, interest in uh, coming up with ways to uh, reduce CO2. And so many people are interested in using catalysts to convert that CO2 into other molecules. Um, and obviously, it would be ideal if you could convert um, CO2 in something that's useful, like a fuel. So copper is one catalyst that has been um, generating a huge amount of interest because uh, it has the lowest um, uh, uh, energy required to convert uh, carbon dioxide into other um, molecules like methane. But the problem with copper is that copper oxidizes. And so this is something we always see when we have a penny and it turns brown. It's basically oxidizing. And so the problem with uh, copper oxidizing in these catalysts is that um, if it oxidizes, then you get less mu mo useful molecules out of the chemical reaction when you convert CO2. You tend to get things like carbon monoxide or formic acid, uh, unlike methane, which is much more useful. So what we tried to do is to dope in another material or alloy it with another material um, that will help stabilize it and um, re um, reduce how much um, the copper is uh, oxidizing. And so that metal was uh, gold because it's so stable. Any other metal that um, uh, could potentially uh, stabilize copper would also work. And so there's a, um, uh, there's a lot of metals out there that, that could do this. Um, others uh, have looked at uh, metal alloys of everything on the periodic table. Um, we like gold because we know it's incredibly stable and it's very easy to make in a nanoparticle form with copper. Our work was really simple. We just looked at the properties of the catalyst itself um, and characterized it. Other people are actually building um, catalysts in, in, inside reactors, uh, very small scale, um, to see uh, you know, what product stream do you get out when you try to reduce CO2. Um, so it's still in the early stages. This would be used in, um, if you have a, a huge waste stream of CO2 and you want to convert it to something useful. It requires energy, so you always have to put energy in in order to get um, um, to do this reaction and get another molecule out. So, but that methane in the end could be used um, as a fuel itself.